Hello there, greetings in Jesus' precious name. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, light for your daily path. This is episode 704, and our topic is winning over anxiety. Now, this is the fourth part. We had a part one, a part two, a part three, and this is part four. Make sure you go watch everything again. It will bless you greatly. Our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Friends, the Greek word for anxious means to be pulled in different several directions. Anxiety actually pulls us in several directions, making it impossible to concentrate, to find peace, and to pay attention to what is good for us. Nobody is born with anxiety. Fear and worry have become a regular part of many people's lives because they learn early to react to events and to expectations by worrying or being nervous. For many of us, we worry about what might happen. In fact, not worrying makes us feel irresponsible. This is not a life of faith. One of the practical expressions of a life of faith is facing the day or task before you, giving it your all, and not worrying about what tomorrow will bring. Tomorrow is safe in God's hands. He is leading you. Choose to enjoy today. Tomorrow will be fine. Learn to face each day and stop allowing yourself to worry about tomorrow and the day after. Anxiety is a thief. It steals your joy, kills your peace within, prevents you from fully enjoying life, and it leads you to make unwise, careless, thoughtless decisions. Friends, arise in faith today. Refuse to allow fear, worry, or anxiety to control you anymore. God is in charge of tomorrow. Okay, this is God's word to us today. Here is our task for today. Take some time to meditate on God's word in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Now that's a scripture that would empower you much, 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 much deeper on winning over anxiety. Pay close attention to the wisdom push for today. Today's declaration and our daily Bible reading, our day meditation, and our night meditation. The Lord bless you richly. Have a great day, Father, in Jesus' name. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.